Welcome to a brief overview of wireless mesh networking platforms currently offered by Silicon Labs. In this video, we will be covering design possibilities with our wireless MCUs. Silicon Labs offers two different platforms for wireless mesh networks. System on a Chip, or SOC, and Network Coprocessor, or NCP. The SOC implementation uses one chip, while the NCP requires a two-chip solution. We will also touch on the different chips we offer. The EM35X group has our legacy EM351 and EM357 chips, and includes our new EM358X series. Let's take a look at the SOC platform first. Our SOC is a one-chip solution that uses our protocol stack and application framework. This unified approach offers a highly integrated system with minimal external components. Here, the RF transceiver is an integrated peripheral designed into the chip silicon. One chip includes all radio functionality and all stack functionality with an application layer on top that has hooks into the protocol stack. In this format, all firmware will be residing on one chip. A unified approach on the chip reduces complexity, and NCP offers the ability to use a host microcontroller. Instead of running everything on one chip, this platform allows the separation of the application layer from the stack and the RF transceiver. The application host can communicate with the NCP with our Ember ZNet Serial Protocol, or EZSP. EZSP is a serial abstraction of our stack libraries that can be used over SPI or UART to send commands to the NCP. It is important to note that there is a limited control of GPIOs on an NCP. This simplifies the EZSP communication. This platform can now use a dedicated application processor, which can be anything from an 8-bit MCU to a sophisticated 32-bit or 64-bit embedded Linux system. The added flexibility of a host with NCP model provides the ability to add wireless mesh networking to an existing application architecture in a modular way. Since the stack is self-contained in the NCP, it is easy to maintain the stack functionality or upgrade the stack with new features with minimal impact to the application. So, the NCP could be sourced from a contract manufacturer as a pre-programmed or pre-loaded chip, and the application can be customized further by the OEM. The trade-off is a more flexible approach, though it is a two-chip solution, so the cost is higher. Decoupling of the host and NCP allows you to future-proof your design, and if Silicon Labs comes out with a new coprocessor, it will be easier to update the design. Minimal change will happen on the application host side because the serial protocol will be the same. Silicon Labs now offers the EM351, EM357, and several variants of the EM358X series for your design. The EM3XX group is based on the 32-bit ARM Cortex-M3 and has our lowest bomb cost and lowest power consumption. The chips have embedded flash, RAM, and simulated EEPROM. Our most popular chip, the EM357, has 192 kilobytes of flash, 12 kilobytes of RAM, and 24 GPIOs. The EM351 is only different in the respect of less available flash. The EM358X series is a drop-in replacement for the EM357. It also offers 24 GPIOs but 
has larger flash and RAM choices with optional USB serial communication. So, with the two models of SOC and NCP, Silicon Labs has a solution for any new wireless mesh network design. More information and help can be found in our active online community at http colon slash slash community dot scilabs dot com. Thank you.